Find Marvin, the tap dancing horse. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. When the lights go down, I'm ready to purr. My home up on the stage. I'll dance for you and we'll perform for you too. I'm Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. Good morning. I see it must be Wednesday. That's right! Wash day Wednesday! Elizabeth, every Wednesday you do the laundry and I read my magazines. Every single Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so? I think we're in a rut. We're not in a rut. Why don't we do something different for a change? Let's go for a walk. I like doing my laundry. I know you do. I just wish something different would happen today. Diamonds! I need some help moving something. Sure, Jack. What is it? It's a big, big, big surprise. Oh. Hmm. Don't you want to come and see Jack's surprise? Nope. Have fun! So? What is it, Jack? Ladies and gents, inside this box is my latest, greatest idea yet. So, what is it? Oh, right. If you help me unpack it, you'll find out. I bet it's a whitewater raft. What's this? I know what it is. It's a hot air balloon. Right you are, kid. We are now in the balloon ride business. Oh. We keep the balloon tied to this, see? People go up, look around, see the sights, then we pull them back down again, safe and sound. Oh, Jack, it sounds wonderful. Come on, everyone. Let's get this thing off the ground. Wow. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Marvin? Why don't you give it a test run? Oh, no. Uh, it should be ladies first, I think. <laughs> He's afraid of heights, remember? I've always wanted to ride in a balloon. Would you help me in, Marvin? Sure thing. I think we need a bigger balloon. Sorry, Diamonds. Uh, that's the only one we've got. Maybe if you try jumping. Out of the basket? No, straight up. Oh, I see. <sighs> oh. <sighs> this is kind of fun! <gasps> Yay! <sighs> well, I wanted to do something different today, and that was just the ticket. And it might be just the ticket for someone else I know. No, thank you. Oh, Elizabeth, there's no need to be afraid. I'm not afraid. I just don't like balloon rides. So you've been up in one before? Nope. Then how do you know you don't like balloon rides? I just know I don't need to try new things. I'm perfectly happy doing my old things. Besides, I have a very busy afternoon planned. Let me guess. You're going to feed the birds, just like you do every Wednesday. And after I feed the birds, I have mittens to knit. Mittens? In the middle of the summer? I'm a very slow knitter. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. Make hay while the sun is hot. 
for soon there'll be snow and there'll be a lot try new things when you get the chance don't say no at the very first glance cause anything is possible oh please just try it just try it just once or twice it's fun first rate you might find out it's really in your silly balloon. Great! Yay, Elizabeth! Good for you. Just a quick ride, mind you. I have lots of important things to do today. Ready? I suppose so. Go ahead, Eddie. Anchors away! Oh, my! I'm glad you decided to try it, Elizabeth. How do you like it so... So, where's she off to? We're not sure. Isn't that nice? Bon voyage, Elizabeth! Right soon! Oh! I can see the whole carnival! There's at this tent and my trailer! What a beautiful view! Mm. And the air is so fresh! Don't pull me down yet! It's wonderful! I feel like I can fly! What did she say? She said she thinks she's going to cry. That balloon will come down on its own eventually. But in the meantime... Elizabeth will be crying her little eyes out. You mean she's not supposed to be up there? Here's some rope. Good. Hop aboard, Eddie. We'll bring her back safe and sound. Follow that balloon! Poor Elizabeth. Hey! Where's my balloon? Uh, Marvin's just... He's washing it. Yes, it was getting very dirty. I want to take some pictures of it to send to the TV station. Wouldn't it be great publicity if they did a news story on us? Why don't you let me do that, Jack? I, I bet you've got lots of other things to do. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Thanks, Stripes. Why did we ever talk her into going up? She must be absolutely frantic. <sighs> I never imagined I'd get to see so much. There's a farmer cutting hay. Make hay while the sun is hot. <laughs> and there's the mailman. Any letters for me? <gasps> Hi! Faster, Marvin! I'm going as fast as I can. I'm a tap dancing horse, not a race horse. I can see her. She's waiting for help. Whee! Hello there. So nice of you to stop by. She stopped waving. Maybe she's fainted. Or she's so scared she can't move. Look, it's heading for a hill. If we can get there first, maybe we can catch it. To the hill. Isn't it lucky I had these sunflower seeds with me? Oh, isn't this nice? Hang on, Elizabeth. <sighs> We're coming. Don't pull me down yet, Marvin. I'm having too much fun. <sighs> Marvin, you did it. We made it here before Elizabeth. <sighs> Hooray. The balloon isn't even that high. I think we can catch it. You can do it, Eddie. I have to run again, don't I? You know, I'd piggyback you if I could. Thanks, Eddie. Holding on tight? You bet. Oh, my! I'm flying right into a cloud! you all are that you can fly. It's quite a new experience for a pig, you know. <sighs> Poor Elizabeth. I wonder where she is now. 
She could be miles away by the time that balloon finally comes down. She'll be crying her eyes out. Oh, what I wouldn't do to hear Elizabeth's voice again. <laughs> do you hear that? I think so. It's Elizabeth, and she's crying. Quick, Eddie, maybe she's hurt. I'm coming, Elizabeth! <laughs> How lovely to meet your family. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? From what? I'm... I'm not sure. Oh, I hope they get back soon. <gasps> hey, Jack, uh, what's up? Where are you going? Just thought I'd check on the balloon before turning in. No need. We'll do it for you. Oh, uh, thanks. Good night. Good, Good night, night, Jack. Jack. <sighs> Hi, guys. About time. Elizabeth, are you all right? Were you scared? Not for a minute. I can't wait to go back up. Does Jack know what happened? No, and what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Good evening. Our top story tonight. Carnival Pig flies off in runaway balloon. <laughs> This little piggy flew a long way from home in a balloon until she was rescued by two friends who refused to give up the chase. Pig and balloon landed safe and sound and are on their way back to fast-talking Jack's carnival. So if you want to try a balloon ride for yourself or see what this adventurous pig is up to next, it sounds like fast-talking Jack's carnival is the place to go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. We should have told you. Are you angry? Angry? Are you crazy? This is the best publicity we've ever had. Elizabeth's famous. I never thought I'd like riding in a balloon, but it was the most exciting thing I've ever done. Diamonds, I'm so glad you talked me into trying something new. It even gave me an idea for a new entrance for my routine. What have you got in mind? I thought I could parachute right down from the top of the tent. It'll be just like flying. Wow! Everybody will want to see the flying pig. Now that's showbiz. <laughs> Yeah, it's loads of fun. We'll be finished in no time. Uh, Elizabeth? Green? I thought we were painting it orange. Oh! Hi, gang. How's everyone making out? Uh, wrong color there, Elizabeth. I know. I know. Jack, why do we have to do this on such a nice day? Well, our new food vendor is going to need a place to stay. New food vendor? Why didn't you say so? Get painting, everyone. What we need is a chicken hunt. Maybe it'll be someone selling waffles. Or peanuts. I hope it's peanuts. What? What is it? Oh. Well, it looks like you got your wish, Diamonds. Are you here about the job? A peanut vendor! Hire him, Jack, right away! Uh, hold on a moment, Diamonds. So, what's your name? Mr. P. Nutty, chief executive in charge of nut sales. All nutty, all the time. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Do you uh, want to take the suit off so we can talk? are the best peanuts I've ever had. Well, Mr. Peanutty, if you want the job, you've got it. Welcome aboard. And there's your new home. Hooray! <laughs> Poor Mr. Nutty. He's probably boiling in that suit. Ask him if he wants a drink. Mr. Nutty, over here! Oh! <laughs> there you are! 
Oh, thank you. I was just wondering if you wanted to... He ran away from me. I tried to chat with Mr. Nutty earlier, but he never talks. And he never takes off that costume. It's almost like he's hiding something. Has anyone seen Mr. Grizzly? He's missing. Did one of you take him? For goodness sake, Stripes, who would want to take your teddy bear? I wonder. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Stripes. <sighs> what happened to you? I couldn't sleep a wink without Mr. Grizzly. Oh, has anyone seen my cooked corn from last night? It's disappeared. My lucky scarf is missing, too. I think I know where everything went. Let's look at the facts. A mysterious stranger comes here, never showing his face, and things start to go missing. Whoa, now. You don't really think he's stealing from us, do you? Well, what do we know about him? Where did he come from? What's his real name? Maybe... Maybe he escaped from prison, and he's on the run from the law! Or... What if he's a mad scientist who's put some brainwashing ingredients into the peanuts? Oh my god, it's so obvious. He's a witch doctor making peanut voodoo dolls of all of us. He'll use them to make us rob banks for him. We have to do something before it's too late. But that's all just silly gossip. You don't know if it's true. Yeah, you don't have any proof. Well, then we're just going to have to get proof. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hi, Mr. Nutty. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had to go somewhere. Mm. It's not because of you. They just had things to do. Mr. P. Nutty would like to invite everyone to a barbecue outside the staff tent tonight. Peanuts will be served. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Nutty. I'll tell... The others. How does he do that? Hey, everyone. Mr. Nutty has invited us all to a peanut barbecue tonight. I don't know about this. It could be some sort of a trap. Oh, for goodness sake. It's not a trap. It's a barbecue. Why don't you try talking to him instead of spying on him? Excellent idea. We'll ask him questions, and he'll feel so guilty he'll break down and admit he did it. That's not what I meant. Hot out, isn't it? You must be especially hot in that suit. You can probably hold quite a lot of stuff in there. Have you noticed anything missing from your trailer? Of course not. We think there's a thief in our midst. You better be on your guard. Because we are. I won't be needing any more of those, thank you. <laughs> Did you see him sweat when we told him about the thief? You can't tell if he's sweating in that costume. That just shows how sneaky he is. Listen, this is getting out of hand. You're being very mean to Mr. Nutty, and there's no proof he did anything wrong. You're right. We don't have any proof. Good. And we'll all go to his barbecue tonight and make him feel right at home. All right? All right. Good. I've never had a peanut burger before. That was great. Thanks, Mr. Nutty. We told the others. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Find the others. Sorry, Mr. Nutty. They'd better have a good excuse for not showing up. 
Come in, Ghost Dog. This is a Liz... I mean, Pink Lady. This is Ghost Dog. Go ahead, Pink Lady. I haven't found anything outside Nutty Headquarters, so I'm going in. Over. Negative, Pink Lady. Abort mission. Shadow Dancer and Boy Wonder are approaching. Over. Who? Marvin and Eddie. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Oh, well, you see, I felt bad about blaming Mr. Nutty for stealing, so I decided to clean his trailer for him. Does Mr. Nutty know you're doing him this favor? Well, no. It's a surprise. Elizabeth, you can't just go into someone else's trailer without permission. Well, how else am I supposed to find clues? <gasps> <gasps> He's coming! Oh, no! Hide! Wait, I, uh... Thought he had us for sure. Where's he going now? Mr. Nutty got away. But I think I know where he went. We just have to follow this trail of peanuts. It probably leads to his evil secret headquarters. Hmm. Should we go too? Yeah, we better make sure they don't do anything foolish. Although it's a little too late for that. Everyone watch out. Nutty might have set up traps to keep intruders out of his forest fortress. Do you really think he did? Why don't you ask him? He's right there. Help! Help! Oh, oh. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll save you! <sighs> Mr. Grizzly! Oh, thank goodness! See, I told you Nutty is the thief. Uh-oh. My scarf! My corn! Case closed. Now let's see what our criminal mastermind looks like. Okay, Nutty, why did you take our stuff? I didn't take anything, but we caught you red-handed. What are those squirrels doing with Jack's favorite tie? Aha! Did you train squirrels to do your evil bidding? Stripes. Don't worry, no one will hurt you. Just tell us what happened, Mr. Nutty. Please, call me Filbert. My watch was missing, but there was a trail of peanuts and I followed it to this tree. So it was those pesky squirrels all along. But why did you act so mysterious? Oh, I'm not mysterious. <laughs> I'm just shy. Especially around such big carnival stars. Aww. Oh, and you! You're so big, I was scared you might trample me. I would never do that. Oh, Filbert, I'm so sorry for thinking you were a thief. Or a mad scientist. Or a witch doctor who robs banks. Witch doctor? They were gossiping and came up with some pretty ridiculous stories. And ended up hurting your feelings. Oh, I'll never gossip again. I'm sorry we didn't come to your barbecue. Is there anything we can do to make it up to you? Yes, there is. Mmm, peanutty pie with peanut butter ice cream. I'm in heaven. Well, Eddie, it just goes to show you, peanuts are a diamond's best friend. Oh. <laughs> oh. Three cheers for Mr. Nutty. Oh, I mean, Filbert. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray!